Chris, thanks so much. We appreciate it. Look, here's a deal. I don't know if Chris Cozart or Clay, if somebody wants to come over. Uh, Billy brought plenty today, so uh, instead of letting these chicken sandwiches and so what are we looking? Let's bring in John real quick. John, oh, there we go. Hey, Mr. Weatherall, thank you. What are we looking at, Billy? This is the Turkin Burger, the turkey and chicken combination. Which Ariel had last week, really enjoyed. We got mm -hmm. a chicken, uh, just a chicken sandwich. The chicken sandwich, the, and then the evil twin burger. All right, so uh, once again, to, the, to our, our friends in Studio A, baby, yeah, you're right. Uh, from the Acadiana Eats Kitchen, these burgers are for them if they want them, because I know we're gonna be turning and burning throughout the course of the morning. Um, Sweets-wise, we touched on it in the 5 a.m. interview. Uh, Y'all have started to, um, make some ingredient changes, right? Y'all are starting to yeah. incorporate, uh, you know, y'all have always been using good stuff, but taking it to that next level, what y'all been working on? Yeah, we're always looking to do uh, things that make it better for our customers. So like, for example, like some of the, fl the flour we use for the buns is uh, non-bleached. Uh, we use real ingredients and try to make it to where, like we want our kids to eat it. Like we want our kids to eat something better yeah, for them absolutely uh of course like sweets i mean sugar whatever but we use the best ingredients we can and we're always looking to improve like uh for example on our gingerbread cookies we're looking at different food colorings to make it you know better uh these are made without gluten okay. so i'm allergic to it denny's allergic to it but this if i eat a regular chocolate chip cookie I can kind of feel it. This one, I don't. Yeah, so. no, for sure. And look, Acadiana, normally when it comes to like gluten-free stuff, I've always kind of been like, oh man, here we go. But I had some of those at the restaurant, fantastic. Uh, we'll talk on it much more throughout the course of the morning. If you've ever been to Twins and you made your way to the register, they, they normally have these bagged up sitting up front. Uh, do me a favor, I'm gonna plug them while you, while you build, Billy, right? We need some action, baby, go ahead. Uh, look, here's the deal, ah, man. Then you better watch out, man. Billy, Billy's in here taking over. Uh, the sweets, the bake side. No, I'm just kidding, man. I, I always love stoking the fire between these two. Uh, these are called what, Billy? Dinky doozies. Okay, and they are for those at home that don't know. It's pretty. I know it's pretty self-explanatory, but it's our homemade buttercream icing in between two of the, two of the cookies. And for uh, TV purposes, I have some already done. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, and are, these, are these all the cookies you brought? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. I well, mean, how many John, did you we, want we me need to bring? To say, no, stop. Don't, I want to get a video of you doing that one later. Anyway, so <laughs> we have our chocolate chip. You got the M and M, and then what's that one? Oatmeal. All right. So, if you have a fisherman in the family, okay, Oatmeal, you send yeah. them on a fishing trip with That's these. True. Yeah, I'm with and that. With the sun, it kind of. They're the best. All right. So, Katie Ann, we've got much more coming up throughout the course of the morning right here on Pospa 2. we got tons of uh, savory stuff coming up throughout the rest of the morning. Hope you guys are having a great start to your Tuesday. He's Billy Gilbo, Twins Burgers and Sweets in Youngsville and in Lafayette. I'm Gerald Grunig. We're in the Acadiana Eats Kitchen.